Hey guys, so in today's video we're going to be showing you how to make this custom helmet. And what is this helmet you might ask? Well this style helmet is referred to as the Hell Helmet, Tribe Helmet, or Modified Helmet. And this style helmet was born out of the Kanto region and the surrounding areas such as Chiba, Ibaragi, Saitama, Kanagawa, and many more from back in the day. The Bosuzoku and Kaido Racer culture is very rich and whenever we attempt to build something, be it the car or something as small as this helmet, we really believe that it's crucial to learn the history behind what we're building to better stay true to the style and give proper respect that we feel is necessary. We believe going over our process and giving you a more in-depth look is going to help some of you guys feel more comfortable to attempt this. And if not, building a helmet like this maybe give you guys some new knowledge. So let's just dive right in. So what I ended up doing right here, this is my Bitwell Gringo helmet and it had a face shield that went all the way around. So obviously I took out all the little clips that went into it for the face shield, drilled those out. It had a rubber trim here. So I just took all that off. We're gonna get more of that off as we go. And then took out the liner from inside the helmet. So now it's pretty bare, but I am keeping these right here because I still need the chin strap because I still plan on using it for the track and everything else. So just make sure to take everything off the helmet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start prepping it for glass work before we get into the whole glass and prepping for that. So what I ended up doing was putting the helmet on and then measuring exactly where my eye, you know, where my eyesight is at on both sides. So that's about right where it's at. So that way I marked it. Once we glass everything, we're not going to have any real point of view as to where our eyes are at. So we want to make sure we do that ahead of time so that we know exactly where we're going to make our slit and the cut you know, for the new hole, because we're gonna be bringing this in, like so. So it's just always good to make sure you measure, test it, so that you're just not cutting blindly, or you end up with a hole that's too low or something too high, and now you're always kind of squatting around with a helmet, so measure. Make sure you guys measure. Okay, so we got to this point right here where everything now is sanded off, all the rubber's taken off. Um, what we're gonna do now, and what I did was I went and got a piece of cardboard that kind of fit around in here, so this was 15 inches. I, use, I like to use, you know, a tailor's tape because, you know, I can kind of go around whatever I need. So it's 15 inches across. What I ended up doing was getting the cardboard and then I scored it. So I just used a paint stick and all I did was went across one, two, three, four, and I just kept going across all the way. So then that way, I'm able to get a nice bend out of it. Okay, contours around. What we do is we shove it inside here, all right? And then what I did is I had Astrid actually draw a mark, so that way it kind of gives us a guide as to where this is gonna wanna sit, but at the same time, we're gonna hot glue on the outside inside the helmet and then paste it up right there. And then what I ended up doing too was scoring in here. So when you score right along the top and then I, I went all the way through so these can bend back just like so. Okay, you want to score that way, go that way so that when you put this in, you want this to be as flush as possible. So then what we're going to do next is I'm going to go ahead, glue it in place, wax all this, and then the next thing will be glassing on top. Thank you. 
So we're gonna go ahead, wax all this. Make sure we scuff this just a little more all the way around. Then we'll cut our glass out and then we're gonna do the layup on here. cool so we got everything grounded down now all the glass and then if you guys saw after I de I I de to kind of feather everything out so it's nice and smooth so we don't have such a high build up here or on the bottom kind of going all the way around we still have our marks here so we know exactly where our eye line is going to be at and then what I'm going to end up doing now is I'm just going to go ahead and start skimming with Bondo and we're just going to pull it all the way down and we'll see how that goes and that's going to kind of fill and give us that nice square shape that we need right here. Okay, so I already filled and blocked out most of the helmet. Um, and so what I did now is we sprayed some, you know, some gray primer on it. And what I'm using this is, as is, I'm using it as guide coat. So what I'm gonna do is go with a flat block and I'm gonna block all this out and it's gonna show us where all our highs and lows are at. And then that's gonna tell us exactly what needs to be filled or if we can just take it down because we have materials. So again, this is called guide coat. All right, so we finished doing the guide coat, and as you see, we kind of jumped a few steps ahead. Camera was dead, so we just you know, moved along. Um, what we did was we still used that line that we made in the beginning, you know, for the eyesight, and then ran that all the way across. And then what we did is we pulled the tape, and as you can see, we like to use fine line tape for, you know, painting or doing designs or anything like we've done on our cars before ended up using was we used uh, half inch tape right here right around the eye line and then we pulled quarter inch right along and this is how you know you get yourself a true measurement is because everything is lined up butted up one tape to another tape to another tape and then this is going to give us our eyesight and we got an angle here and the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and take a angle grinder song So, cuts are all made. It's looking pretty good. 
backgrounded everything so it's nice and square for the most part. And then we even put the inside cushion back on. And it fits pretty spot on. can see a bit of the inside right there and there'll be a mouth flap that goes right here but for the most part super stoked on how it came out all right you guys so we're at the end of the video now I'm done with the helmet Overall, super happy with the end result. We did do a little bit of a higher build on the front just because we like the thick ridge. We feel it gives it some more character. We're gonna leave some keywords in the description below for you guys to actually go ahead and do yourself a favor and do the homework and look up different styles, different paint schemes. There's so much about these helmets that you can really find out. So again, we are gonna move on from here to primer, paint, and we're going to do another video on that and we just hope you guys enjoyed this video and we hope that you subscribe and we'll just continue to see more and more of what we do and just leave a comment below and let us know what you'd like to see appreciate it